Hey everyone. Who is that? Who's got the sport court? Is that the Sukups? Oh. Oh, when? What's up, buddy? Because otherwise they can hear everything you're saying. Yeah, just mute. But if you guys want to share your screen, share your screen so I can keep an eye on you guys and watch. Oh, yes. We got the Mauer brothers in the house. Asher. I know a lot of these kids. Okay. Now it's like too many to even scroll through. So, I'm on my sister's account. Oh, hey, you got to go. Oh, wait, you don't have to wear those in, in the garage. Make sure you guys mute yourselves. That way you guys can like play music or whatever else you want. All right, can everyone hear me? Nod your head, give me a thumbs up. All right, so some of you guys have done some training with me before. Uh, introduce myself. My name is Brian Coleman. I'm the U12, U14 girls uh, high performance director. I coach two of those teams. Um, and then I'm going to be doing some technical training here. So these sessions are designed for, as you can see, some people are in their living room, in their basement, outside, in their bedroom. Um, I designed these sessions where you don't need a ton of space. We're just here to get as many touches on the soccer ball as we can for 30 minutes. Um, we will do some passing. Uh, if you don't have like a wall or something you can pass balls into, you can just juggle something else for now. But make sure you get your parents' permission before you guys start blasting soccer balls everywhere, all right? Um, so make sure you guys have your ball, water if you need. Uh, and we're going to get ready to roll. So first 12 exercises, 10 exercises, you guys are going to do for 30 seconds at a time. I'll keep your, I'll keep track for you. I'll let you know when to rest. Uh, the next 30 seconds, you're going to do the same activity, but you're going to try to go faster, try to get more touches on the ball, right? So you're competing against yourself, trying to beat your scores. Um, once we're doing the next 30 second rest, I'll explain our next activity, give you guys a, a quick little demo. All right. So first activity, nice and easy, just all right foot, inside touch, outside touch, inside touch, outside touch, as many as you can, nice big touches, ready, go. Get those touches in, there you go, good Riley Owens. All right foot, Sienna, all right foot. All right foot only, inside touch, outside touch, inside touch, outside touch, inside touch, outside touch. That's 15 seconds, keep going. All inside, make sure you keep your head up too. see the ball, see what's going on in front of you. Three, two, one, and rest. Hopefully by like the third or fourth exercise, you guys are already sweating. Who's in the mountains? Say it's me, Addy. Oh, that's you, Addy, nice. <laughs> <laughs> 10 more seconds of rest and when you guys get at it get at it even faster get more touches in there all right nice big touches side to side all right foot inside outside again ready go
Good, Lily. Good, Caitlin. Asher, I think that's good, but all I can see is your dome. Five more seconds. Keep going. Keep going. And time. Rest. I don't really need to demo the next one. Obviously, it's going to be same thing with our left foot. But again, good athletic position. You're checking what's going on around you. You're making sure you can see the ball. You can see the wall in front of you, the TV, the computer screen, your siblings that are sitting there watching, like, what are you doing? Whatever it is, you're keeping eyes on everything, all right? Next one, all left foot, inside, outside. Ready, go. Nice big touches, bigger touches, Sienna. Come on, girl. Bigger touches, move the ball from one side of your body to the other. Good, Lily Sukup, good, Ella. Good, Owen. All left foot, Boston, all left foot, buddy. Faster, Zara, faster. There we go, good, Addy, and rest. So if you can, when you're doing this, try to count how many touches you get on the ball, right? And if you want, you can remember these down. Maybe I'll just drop these into our, uh, our chat as well so you guys can continue to do this on your own. 10 more seconds of rest. Ready, go. Keep that video on, Alex. We want to watch you, man. Martha Riccio coming out of retirement to get touches in. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good, rest. Can everyone hear me all right still? Sister's account. Yeah, I can see. I'm just kidding. Hey, Brooke. Yeah. 55 people here. All right. 10 more seconds. Next activity, we're going to do both feet. Both feet. So start with outside right foot touch, inside left right foot touch. Outside left, inside left. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Start nice and slow until you get the hang of it and then pick it up. Ready, go. Both feet, outside right, inside right. Outside left, inside left. Outside right, inside right. Outside left, inside left. Good, Aiden, Juan. There you go. Good, Sophie and Sydney. Outside right, inside right. Outside left. Inside left, outside right, inside right, outside left, inside left. And rest. Remember, so our, on this one, our exchange, we want it to be fast from this inside touch to an outside touch. So we're cutting it away from a defender, we're pushing into other space. All right, 15 more seconds of rest. Again, how quick can you make that transition from the inside of one foot to a quick outside touch with the other foot? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good, as you get more comfortable with it, can you take a little bit more space, a little bit bigger touches if you have the space to do so? Good. Keep going, keep going. 10 seconds. Yes, Leighton and Cohen. Cohen, Leighton's going faster than you, brother. And rest. Good job, guys. All right, next, act, next one, a move, one of my favorite moves, our lane change. Uh, there's a lot of different names for it. But we're going to just make a right angle or an L. So it's a nice touch across, 
in a quick touch forward. This one's kind of hard to do it fast back and forth. So just do it with one foot, maybe a little pullback, and then quick do it with your other foot. So again, a nice touch across, then a touch forward with your other foot. Ready, go. If you don't understand, just pick one of the other moves and do that one. Touch across, forward with your other foot, cross with your left, forward with your right, cross with your left, forward with your right, cross with your right, forward with your left. Keep going, keep going. 10 more seconds. Good. If you want, you can vary this up a little bit by adding a little roll instead of that inside touch and rest. So if you want to change it up a little bit, you can watch me quick. Instead of that inside touch and a touch forward, just a nice big drag across and a touch forward the other way. So your choice, you can do either or. 10 more seconds of rest. Can we add a little scissors? Ready, go. Liliana, good girl. Good job, Brooke. Touch across, touch forward. Touch across, touch forward. Five more seconds. And time, rest. All right, as you're resting, so we're gonna go through work today. This is a session, we have sessions designed for U10, U9 and U10, U11, U12, 13 and 14 and 15 and older. This is a session that's on for the U12. So there will be some more challenging ones for your older kids, or there will be some a little bit easier ones for you guys that are a little younger, or you can always do both of these. But uh, same things we just kind of did like our last one, but instead of an inside touch with our, and then outside, we're gonna roll inside, cut outside, roll inside, cut outside. All right foot again. Ready, go. Make sure you drop that shoulder when you roll, take a little hop step, all in one motion. Good, Owen. Try not to keep your foot on the ground. As Soon as you roll, quick cut outside. Little roll, quick cut outside. Good. 10 more seconds. Keep going, guys. Keep going. And time. Rest. Fifteen more seconds. Give me a thumbs up. Are you guys getting tired? Are you getting a little sweaty, or is this okay? It's okay. It could go harder. Liliana, go harder. Okay. Ready? Go. Good job, guys. Ben, I hope you're working. All I see is the sun, brother. Good job, Mr. Lawrence. Keep going, keep going, guys. Three, two, one, and time, rest. Same thing, the next round will be all left foot, and then we're gonna make it a little bit harder for today. both feet perfect do both feet again or listen to instructions all right left foot ready go roll inside cut outside boston roll inside cut outside Good, Sarah. Good, Hayden. Roll in, cut out. Good job, Katie. 
There you go, Drake. And rest. Was that the second round or first? First, thank you, Cohen. All right, second one. Ready, even faster, go. Roll inside, cut outside, roll inside, cut outside. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, next one, we're gonna go all right foot. You need a little bit more space on this one. So it's all right foot, you're gonna go inside, inside, chop with the outside, 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 chop with the inside, 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 chop. All right, so inside, inside, chop with outside, Push with the outside, push with the outside, chop with the inside. All right foot. Ready? Go. Nice small touches work. Inside, inside, outside. Outside, outside, inside. Make sure you're keeping your eyes up too. Get in the habit. Find that 45 degree angle with your vision so you can see the floor and you can see what's going on in front of you guys. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, guys. Sophie and Cindy, I saw that. You turned it on when you were getting water, huh? 10. Back on in five. Ready, go. Job Owen. Good Zara, good Zara, keep going girl. And time, rest. Christian Dawson, this ends at 1.30ish. All right, same thing with your other foot, all left foot. Outside, outside, cut inside, 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 cut outside. 10 more seconds before you're back on. Ready, go. And rest. Last one with our left foot. In 10 seconds, we're back on. Five, three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds.
and time. Two more activities before we go on, move on to our next passing or juggling. So next one, similar to what we did earlier with our outside, inside, outside, inside. But instead of using the inside again, we're gonna drag. So it's outside touch, drag it across. Outside touch, drag it across. Or some of you guys know it may be called the Conti turn, or at least what I call it. Ready, go. Outside right, drag it across. Outside left, drag it across. Outside right, drag it across. Outside left, drag it across. Good, Sienna, there we go. Good, Riley. There you go, Drake. Keep going guys, five more seconds of work. And rest. Make sure when you're working, like especially this second round, now that you get the hang of it a little bit, go for speed, go for speed. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, that's how we get better. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, let's work. Good job, guys, good job, keep going. 10 more seconds, last 10. And time. All right, next activity. I call it a pull tuck, pull tuck and a conti. So if I use my right foot to pull it and tuck it behind, I'm gonna catch my foot, the ball way out here and just drag it back across. So it's a little pull tuck and then drag it back. Think of it in a game. I pull and I tuck, I show the defender, the defender comes. So now I pull it back and then I explode into a new space. So pull tuck. Little Conti or drag it back across with your other foot. Ready, go. Pull, tuck, and then drag it back. Pull, tuck, drag back. Yes, there you go, almost Sienna. Good, Pedro. Good, Owen. Yes, Jamie. Good job, guys. Keep going, keep working. 10 more seconds. and rest. If you guys found that you were doing it one way more than the other for this second 30, see if you can switch it up. So you're doing it with your other feet. Like I was doing the pull tuck with my right and dragging back with my left. So maybe now I do a pull tuck with my left and drag back with my right. Ready, go. Good, and time. If you guys want, do me a favor. We're gonna get a little weird right now and unmute yourselves. Unless you like live where there's planes or something. But I wanna hear this. So normally we're gonna go into a little bit of passing after dribbling, but I know not ev everyone has like this wall or a sport court or a wall that they can hit balls off, right? So I want to save that for the end of day, just in case you don't have that. So you you can just leave the session when you're when we get to that part. But we're always gonna do ball mastery with our dribbling. We're gonna do passing. We're gonna do some sort of juggling, right? So we're gonna skip forward. 
a good way to practice your ball striking. We always talk about pointing your toe, locking your ankle, right? So I don't need to hit balls all the time to work on my juggling. Sorry, I don't need to hit balls all the time to work on my shooting. I can work on my ball striking just by doing this. I'm focused on pointing my toe and locking my ankle. So every single time, if you notice the ball, there's hardly any spin on it or there's top spin, right? So that's what I want you guys to do for 90 seconds. Start with your right, all right foot only for 90 seconds. Then we're going to do all left foot only. Then we're going to change it up. All right. So after like you get the hang of it, see if you can do two or three in a row. Ready? Go. Less than half people have um, less people have their I'm sorry, Ben. I can't hear you, buddy. Keep going, everyone else. If you're trying to juggle normal, that's fine, but try to make sure there's no spin on it so you're also working on your ball striking. Point that toe, lock your ankle. Point your toe, lock your ankle. Guys, keep going, keep going. Every day, especially tomorrow, it's going to be 50 degrees. You guys can go outside or in the garage for five minutes and juggle. Switch it up. Go all left foot now. All left foot. I'm terrible at left foot. That's okay. That's why we're practicing. Good and time. One more minute. One more minute of juggling today. I want you to try to do juggles below knee height, below knee height. So just real little touches. Last minute. Ready? Go. Below knee. Little touches. Little touches. Keep it under control. Find it. Mr. Lawrence, good brook. You there? Good job, guys. Keep going. 30 more seconds. Keep going. See who can get to 15. <laughs> Owen, can you get to 115? All right, good and time. Unmute yourself now. So this is where we're gonna, or sorry, mute yourselves. 
this is where we're going to do our passing stuff. So if, if you guys do not have a space that you feel like you can hit balls at, and I, we cannot upset your parents, right? We want to show that we can play soccer in the house responsibly. But a wall, let me show you here really quick. So cement wall works great. I actually made this on my other side of my basement and also in the garage, just put a piece of plywood up so my kids could just sit and kick balls at it too instead of just my walls. But uh, again, ask your parents and make sure it's okay or something. But when I was in college, we used to go in the racquetball court all the time and just hit balls at the wall and work on our first touch, work on our one touch passes, different kind of first touch. And, and if you can keep the ball on the ground in a racquetball court, playing on turf, playing on grass is that much easier. So last five minutes, actually, we're only going to get probably to three of these today, but you're going to work for 45 seconds and you're going to rest for 15 and then we're going to get back into it. So first round, all one touch with your right foot. So just hit that the ball. Keep your body over it. Try to keep the ball rolling down on the ground. You can be farther from the wall if you want. You can be nice and close. It's up to you, but all right foot. Ready, go. Focus on that technique. Lock your ankle. Point your toe up. Strike straight through the ball. That ball should be rolling on the ground, not bouncing. Or, yeah, like Aiden, you can pass with your... Mom, older sister, dog. Or if you have siblings, you can pass back and forth. Keep going, 30 seconds. All right foot, so move your other foot. On your toes, on your toes, 15. And time, rest. Good, we'll go one more round, all left foot, and then we're gonna change it up for our last, last minute of work, last 45 seconds of work. All right, all left foot, ready, go. Keep that ankle locked, point that toe up. Swing straight through the middle of the ball. Good, Liliana, good. Faster, faster, faster. All one touch. On your toes, on your toes. 15 seconds. And rest. All right, Nick, last minute, last 45 seconds. We're gonna go two touches. So if I control with my right, I'm gonna pass with my left. If I control with my right, I pass with my left. If I use my left foot to control, I pass with my right. So I gotta be purposeful of where I'm taking my first touch. It's across my body so I can play with the other foot. All right, last 45 guys, ready, go. Keep going, keep going. 20 seconds left. And time. All right, guys. Hey, so that's, that's what the kind of what these technical sessions will be like with me. Obviously, I'm going to have different sessions that I have drawn up that will be running. Um, but similar to that with ball mastery, passing, juggling, right? We want to give you guys the tools like you don't need just to do this now. 
you can do it again in a couple of days if you remember any of it. Um, if you want to run and grab your chat really quick, I don't know where I can't get back over there. All right. Um, we have another session that that's going on today at five o'clock with coach Andy. It's a technical and fitness session. So you might see some things the same. It might be completely different, but also they'll probably be like push ups, sit ups, stuff like that in there as well. So I'd recommend if you guys are available, jump back on at five o'clock tonight with coach Andy Seidel. All right. Thank you guys for coming. We'll see you guys tomorrow.